So even, I didn't even watch Making a Band uh, to probably like two years after it was over. I never even seen power since the episode where 50 Cent killed the, the police officer lady. I'm not into what everybody, if everybody else, I've never even seen, what's the show with the cookie lady? Never even seen it. Never watched George Floyd die. I'm just explaining what kind of character I am. I don't do what everybody else do. I live by God. I have my own rules. I deal with him head on. It's why a lot of stuff you see me prophesize come true because I'm close to him. I've been close to him since six years old. I ain't got nothing to prove to no whack 100s or him or no n Just go ask. That's it, man. You hear me? Like, and keep, I ask you, keep my name out that sucker shit because you ain't really like ready to go there. Man, you got to keep me out your mouth, bro. Because, uh, man, I'm going to make you, I'm going to make you risk it all. or I'm going I'm to I'm lose it all trying to teach you not to play with me. And it's just ignorance, bro. It's just ignorance, my nigga. You said your opinion, I said my opinion, and I ain't tech your character. I done sat on this stage on the same platform and gave this nigga plenty of props. And it never once said nothing. No thing, oh man, I see you, Freddie P. Nothing, right? You, which you don't have to. But why acknowledge the bad if I ain't disrespect you? You made an opinion about a book. In order to get my opinion across of thinking that the book was real, I had to say, Gene, I think your story a little flawed because, and I ain't disrespecting when I said it. I said, I think you was just protecting the fact that everybody riding. But we ain't even, we gonna discuss it. Let's talk about character. What type of nigga sit around and they kids and didn't want to go on a World War II acting like you some modest man? Acting like you ain't had nothing to do with nothing. I ain't say it like that, but that's just what it is. You Judas, my nigga. No nigga, any nigga got you around them right now is a damn fool. You a lot, you a living tape recorder, my nigga. That's any nigga that sit around their homeboys and record all the fuck shit he do, knowing you gonna go to the police one day. Now you wanna talk about being a social worker. I just seen Choke No Joke talk about you bringing guns across the state line. You wanna be a thug, nigga. You, 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 was, you was trying to do this shit that we do every day. You was trying to do this shit. I just got a call sitting here to kill a nigga. What are you doing? Y'all niggas gonna make me go to prison just trying to prove to you that I ain't, I'm, I'm, I'm not who you think I am, homie. You know what I'm saying? I done sat in front of that judge. I know what that shit feel like when you think you finna be gone away from your son. I ain't no bitch. You know what I'm saying? I can say I'm no bitch. I can literally say, a lot of people be saying they not no, I ain't no bitch. And I can say it by my actions that them, I done proved I'm not a bitch. So if you let me say I ain't no bitch, I got a right to say it. What's y'all excuse? You niggas just be saying you ain't no bitch the whole, the whole time you got whole actions. You do flaw shit. You disrespect your mama, but you won't disrespect a nigga in the street. No disrespect to nobody, man. All I say is, when you come for a nigga like me, just kill me, dog. If, I always tell people, man, if it ain't worth killing, man, leave that shit alone. You know what I'm saying? It ain't worth it to me. If it ain't worth killing, you feel like it's just an argument, then leave that shit alone. Because I'm going to make you kill me every time or I'm going to go there with you. Every time. Ain't gonna, I'm not going to go away from my kid. You're not going to take me from my kid like that. And if I feel a threat, I get nervous. And my nerves is different from your nerves. That's it. My nerves is different from your nerves. My panicking is different from your panicking. Your panicking might cause you to sit up in the room, be scared, call the police or whatever the fuck you do with your life, my nigga. Now y'all, you, you want to look at me a certain type of way because I, I respond a certain type of way to, to violence. I don't move, I don't leave out my house. I don't look for violence. I don't bother nobody. I pray 20, I'm on, I read the Bible every fucking day. But you can't when you got these niggas keep constantly pulling you back. These niggas will not let, this ain't shit with dirt, what I was saying. These niggas will not let you just move on. You really trying to be different. They trying to prove something. It's a difference. I've seen me all these years on the bed. I never said a motherfucking word, you know why? The whole time, what they say about the quietest nigga in the room. I'm like this everywhere though. This ain't made up, this ain't fake, or this ain't stage. This is who I am, this is my character. The quietest nigga in the room is who? It's truth. It's who I always been. Now y'all see me doing these interviews, it's because a nigga owe me. I'm on his ass, I've been on his ass before he went to jail. I wouldn't have did this shit 
if he if if if, if I ain't had the heart to do it when he was out. I feel like a sucker. You know what I'm saying? I don't even. I don't even be like on puffy neck like that. I just tell him straight up, you all nigga. That's it. You got some shit. You did some fish, some fish, you know? And we all do shit. I come from crime. So, you know, you don't want to see the man go down. And even if he go down, it's kind of like all the suckers, it's kind of like, all the suckers always get away. You know what I'm saying? That shit irritate me. Like the real nigga got to do the time. And the son nigga talking about big meat snitch. I don't, I don't permit snitch. But you know what? Chopo need to snitch. That's what f the streets up is. Police took the real nigga and left you f niggas out here. You niggas going to snitch anyway. You niggas going to tell anyway. You might well get you niggas out the fucking way. Let free meat, free Chapo, free all the real niggas. Bring them back. Free Graylin, free fucking Booby, free all the real niggas. And, 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 and man, tell, take, take the workers. And them big ass niggas out here, they failing us. They failing our community, they failing their kids, they failing us. At least the dope boys did something and, and, and still for some. At least they helped the community. At least they helped mama when the bills was gone. You niggas is pussy. You telling on each other you want to kill. Everybody don't want, nobody want to kill. No, everybody want to beef with their ex-friends. Nobody beefing with real opposition no more. I never grew up like that. I never grew up where I had to worry about a nigga who slept in my house and called my mama mama. We don't talk to this day. We all real steppers, my nigga. And we don't even fucking, and you ain't got to worry about me coming to get you. I ain't got to worry about them coming to get me. But these little niggas, out here killing each other, shooting up each other mama houses, but you slept in my mama house. That's, that's fear to me. Why are you going after somebody you know everything about? You don't want to go after the man who really calling you out. That's like these other niggas. Y'all want to whack one. All these niggas, I've been in, I've been, I'm in your DM with it. Address me like you dress these other niggas. See if a nigga don't walk down all that, you going to hit me in my mouth. I don't even know how to.